Elixir's history is intrinsically linked to both the Ruby and Erlang programming languages, as well as the quest for improved scalability and concurrency in web applications. Here's a brief overview of the history of Elixir. Jose Vallum, the creator of Elixir, was previously a notable figure in the Ruby on Rails community. While working on Rails, Vallum identified some bottlenecks related to performance, concurrency, and scalability, especially for large-scale real-time applications. Jose began experimenting with the Erlang virtual machine, Beam, attracted by its capabilities for concurrency, fault tolerance, and distributed computing. Erlang was originally designed by Ericsson. Uh, telecommunications systems, which required high uptime and robustness, Valum started working on Elixir around 2011. His goal was to combine the productivity and expressiveness of languages like Ruby with the robustness and concurrency features of the Erlang VM. Elixir was crafted to be syntactically friendly, similar to Ruby, but with the power of Erlang under the hood. Elixir's 1.0 version was released in September 2014 after several years of development and community feedback. Chris McCord introduced the Phoenix framework, a web framework for Elixir in 2014. Phoenix became one of the primary attractions for the newcomers to Elixir due to its efficiency in building scalable and maintainable applications, especially real-time web applications. With the establishment of the Hex Package Manager, the Elixir ecosystem began to grow rapidly. Numerous libraries and tools were developed by the community, strengthening Elixir's position as a serious contender in the world of backend development. The Nerve project emerged as a platform for using Elixir in embedded software, further showcasing the versatility of the language. Since its official release, Elixir has gone through several versions, each introducing new features, optimizations, and improvements. The core team and the community have committed to refining the language and expanding its capabilities. Over the years, many companies started adopting Elixir for various purposes, from web applications to network programming to embedded systems. It's its promise of high concurrency and fault tolerant systems was especially appealing for businesses requiring high uptime and performance. The growth of Elixir has been supported by a variety of books, courses, and tutorials, and have emerged aiding newcomers in learning the language and its ecosystem. Throughout its history, Elixir has maintained a strong connection to its roots in Erlang and has benefited immensely from the strengths of the Erlang VM. At the same time, it has carved out its own identity in the programming world, offering a unique blend of developer-friendly syntax and robust performance features. That's just a little snippet of where Elixir came from, and I will see you in the next video.